Hey guys, it's Lauren Cannon again, one last time on our Detroit GP social channels. This time I've got Mr. Bud Danker, president of Penske Corp. Again, one last time from the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear as we know it here on Belle Isle. It's a bittersweet time for all of us. We've Many of us share so many great memories from this venue. What are some of your reflections from this last weekend? Yeah, you know, it's uh, you look at what happened with the weather was never had never been better in 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, the competition has never been better in 13 years. Um, the Cadillac race or the, or the IMSA race yesterday where the Cadillacs were battling until the very last lap. Um, haven't seen that kind of excitement before. And then today you saw so many different strategies, red tires, black tires, fuel mileage, um, uh, push to pass, all the things that make IndyCar so overwhelmingly interesting all happened today. Yeah. And on top of that then, we had the biggest crowds we've ever had. So right. it's just one opportunity after another. Chevrolet had their 100th win in IndyCar. Team Penske had their 67th win of those 100. And Will Power had his 26th of those 100. So it was an epic weekend. Our partner Chevrolet is so happy. Our partner Lear is ecstatic and they're all ready for next year. You really couldn't have turned the page on this chapter any better with all those milestones for the city of Detroit, for Team Chevy, for Penske, of course. We've asked a lot of our friends throughout the weekend to hashtag Bell Isle Memories to help us sort of commemorate what this last weekend would be. What do you think, if you have one, what is your one singular best memory from this event here on Bell Isle? You know, I think, I think for me, um, it's always uh, seeing the smiles on people's faces. The energy and enthusiasm they have for what this small team of ours creates every year and what people enjoy the most coming here and just having a great time. Yeah. You know, there's not many cities in our world, when you think about it, maybe 10 or 12 that have these kind of events inside a city. All right. There's maybe four in North America, five in North America. We're one of those. So I think people appreciate the fact of what we put on here to the benefit of Belle Isle, to the benefit of our city and our state. And it's the smiles and enthusiasm of the people I see here that make me most, you know, curious, but also most uh, proud of what we do here. Yeah, and as much as we've loved this, we've had lots of conversation about looking forward to next year, moving ahead, and even though that fan experience here matters so much to all of us, you guys have promised you're going to deliver and then some as we move downtown for 2023. Yeah, it's going to be, it's just going to be so exciting. We had, as you know, you were our great hostess for the uh, our gala on Friday night and the oh, enthusiasm of 340 people about our event, but moving downtown mm -hmm. is was just enormous, right? And uh, um, we've got people that are calling us saying, count us in already. I get these texts saying, I want to be the first to commit, I want to be the second to commit, whatever it is about next year, our sponsors. But our city is very unique. Detroit is a city that when you ask, people just show up, as we you saw it on, mm -hmm. on Friday night. And when you ask, they show up, as you saw, the chalets were sold out here this year, totally sold out, as were our grandstand seats. So um, I think that we have great momentum moving to downtown. Uh, we are the motor city capital of the world still, right. right? And now we're going back to the downtown area where it was 40 years ago. So we're returning 41 years later with tremendous opportunity downtown. There's not many places that, you, that can pull it off. Nashville pulled it off, yep. but they were a, lot, a lot of it was around the stadium. We're going to pull off running the streets of Detroit. We're not going to close any businesses down or the tunnel down. That's going to be amazing. No, it's going to be incredible to see. So, Bud, thank you so much for all of us fans out there to your team for such an incredible job well done. It was a great way to go out. It was a great way to go out. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Tony. Um, you've been great ambassadors for us this weekend as well, helping us spread the word, helping us communicate what goes on here so well. You're just a great pros and great experts. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to doing it again next year. Absolutely.